What do you do when you have excess money? What do you do when you do not have enough money? This is what we want to talk about in this chapter today. What do you do when you have excess money? I'm going to put all my money in my savings account in the bank. You might say, well, suppose you have 500,000 ringgit. Are you going to put all your 500,000 ringgit in your savings account? Your monthly expenditure is only 2,000 ringgit. What are you going to do with the remaining 498,000 ringgit? Well, you can actually put your money into better use than just let it sit in your savings account. First, you might want to put some money in the fixed deposit account to earn slightly higher interest. Or you might consider buying a house, buying some shares, or even gold as investment. So at the end of the day, you may end up with only 10,000 ringgit in your savings account, and then the rest in fixed deposit account. A house, some shares, gold, diamond, and so on. So this is what we want to look into in this chapter. Savings and investment, and some of the mathematics of it. First, let's talk about saving your money in banks. Basically, there are three types of account banks offer. Saving accounts, fixed deposit accounts, current account. In savings account, often we are given an ATM card where we can get money easily from the ATM machine. We can also make payment of telephone bills, electricity bills, and many more either online or through ATM machines. Usually, a saving account offers interest for the money deposited inside the account, but the interest is usually rather low. Or you can put your money in a fixed deposit account, where you want to put the money there for a fixed period of time. For example, one month, three months, nine months, one year, three years, and so on. A fixed deposit account offers higher interest than a saving account. But if you withdraw your money out before the maturity date, that is, if you withdraw your money earlier than the period you agree on, you will get a reduced interest rate. Withdrawal can be done only at bank branches and not on ATM machine. In current account, you are given the convenience of using checks. This is useful for business people, where they need to make frequent payments and often big amount payment. A check is useful when you want to make a payment of, let's say, 30,000 ringgit. An ATM machine would be inappropriate. Typically, a current account does not offer interest for the deposits 